creating blog posts that attract organic traffic in 2019 and 2020. Blogging is one of the most important elements of complete internet marketing because it helps you to achieve several goals, such as attracting qualified organic traffic to your website, increasing your site's authority, and improving exposure for your brand. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to create blog posts that will multiply traffic to your site for free. If you are using WordPress like us, start by moving over the Posts tab on the left-hand menu, and then to click on Add New. Step number one, writing the headline. Start by composing the post headline by clicking on the Add Title field. The function of a post headline is to grab the attention of users and to rank your site for the keywords that you target with it. We've discovered three elements that make a killer headline. Number one is a numbered title. Internet users love list articles, and they're easy to create. You simply have to divide the content in your post into numbered entries. For example, if you write a post about complete internet marketing tips, you can divide it into 10 different entries, each entry corresponding to a tip. The number of entries you got is the number you'll add to the beginning of your headline. In this example, we have divided our post into 5 entries, so our headline will start at 5. Number 2. You have to add a long tail keyword that includes a high volume search term. With this trick, you can rank your post on top of searches that target the keywords you include. It also helps users to identify your post and the results. Number 3. You have to add an actionable tease to your headline, such as a promise or a command. The purpose of this text CTA is to make your readers curious. So even if there are 10 other different results targeting the same keywords, users will be more inclined to click on your post. Step number two, building the content. In this part of the lesson, we are going to show you how to quickly structure a quality blog post. First, create an article that is long, between 2,000 and 3,000 words long. Search engine algorithms are programmed to give more relevance to long form content. The explanation for this is that long-form content is elaborate and original. As you can see, the word count in our article is a bit over 2,000 words long. Once you hit the recommended word count, you have to divide the content with numbered subheadings to make it into a list article with separate entries. The reason why readers love list articles is that long articles are easy to read when divided in entries. Readers get the sensation that they're just reading short pieces so they stay for longer on your content pages, increasing your site's relevance and authority. Step number three, optimizing your images. You can add images to your blog post to achieve two goals, to make the content more visually appealing and to optimize the images for search. Besides, adding images in the middle of your content decreases the load of reading, which improves the user experience on your site. The optimal way to add images to your content is to add a single image in the middle of each numbered entry. Let's show you a quick example. First, separate text in an entry after the third or fifth paragraph by placing the cursor at the end of the paragraph and pressing the Enter key on your keyboard. Now click on the Add Image button. Now upload or select an image from the media library. Now enter a high volume search term or keyword on the title and alt text fields. You can also add a comment about the image or about the entry into the caption field. Now click on select. Once an image is inserted into your content, center it by clicking on the align center button. Step number four, adding tags. Tags help search engines to recognize what topics are relevant to your site, ranking your content pages for searches for those topics. Because of this, we recommend you to only use general niche keywords, phrases, and search terms that are relevant to your blog post as tags. To add tags to your post, you will simply have to click on the Document tab to click on the Tags tab, and then to enter your target keywords in the Add New Tag field. Remember to press the Enter key each time that you enter a new tag. Step number five, setting a featured image. You can set a featured image to your post to increase visibility to image search results and to improve the visual presentation of your posts. To add a feature image, click on the Featured Image tab under Document and then click on Set Featured Image. 
Now upload an image or select one from the media library. Add a high volume search term or keyword on the title and alt text fields. Now click on the select button. Step number six, publishing your blog post. Finally, make sure to proofread the article, that all your images are optimized and that your title and subheadings are engaging and coherent. Now click on the publish button. And this is it. We recommend you to keep coming back to your blog posts so you can update them as needed.